Hi, I'm Anthony. Today I'm going to be installing a reverse camera for my trailer. I'm going to be mounting reverse camera somewhere up here. Running wires from up here under the trailer to the front. Quick connect from my truck to the trailer. Running a cable from the back of the truck to my stereo head unit, which has a screen in it so that I can magically see through the back of my trailer while I'm backing up. Let's get to it. So my main parts are, I got this from E-Trailer, RVS 213-613, and this is the wiring for, this is a quick connect between the truck and the trailer. trailer side, connects to the camera, truck side, connects to the head unit. I also bought a couple of adapters to go from the 5 pin to RCA because I have an RCA camera. I went with the eSky 181 dash zero one eight zero dash three five from Amazon I've opened up my protective cover wire chase here in the corner of my trailer be running my wires down through there and out the floor So after a very long day, frustrating at times, having almost the right tools, or having the right tool but like a drill bit that's too short, couldn't reach, that was the first issue I had today. Long day. Anyway, I got my wire running the trailer, got my wire running the truck, got everything hooked up, not quite put away, but I'm adjusting the rear camera right now before I mount it. So, show you what I'm working with right now. So this is currently the view out of the back of the trailer. I have it mounted up high, and it is giving me almost a straight down view. I may do a offset mount just so that I can get past that light and that little bit of a lip but I think I should be able to see everything from right there I can see way wide I can see way behind me and I can see straight down directly behind the trailer so I'm pretty excited about that I like the way this is turning out and I'll probably get rid of the guidelines 
eventually once I get it all set up final. So now I'm at the back of the trailer and just showing you how I have this set up. I do have the truck in reverse to um, have everything turned on. So uh, I got everything blocked up. But So my reverse lights are on there, reverse lights on there. There's the camera itself. And what I just did was I stuck a magnet on the back side. I had these magnets, these rare earth magnets. Like a magnet on the back side and a magnet on the back side there and just pinched it with another magnet so I want to keep this up as high as I can and I'll probably do a longer bolt here with a with a nut on the back side just to bring this out it'll look a little bit odd but at least I can see that's what I'm concerned about so I'm uh, excited about where this is going been wanting this for a long time so let me get it all cleaned up and I'll show you the final results so I've already made my marks Figure out where my wire goes inside. Drill a hole, put a grommet in it. So the issue that I'm running into is this. I want to put a grommet in to seal around the wire and get it nice and weatherproof. However, I need a hole that's big enough to fit this through. So I got this grommet on here. And even that is not going to be big enough, so I'm going to have to go with a bigger, bigger grommet. It's kind of a bummer, and then I'll just have to put some caulk in there and seal that up. Okay, so I figured out I need a 5 8 inch hole to get everything through. I'll drill that now. a half inch this bits wore out this bits one of my frustrations of the day and we got five eighths It's going to be a mess, but I want it sealed. Mm -hmm. 
build your own grommet. All right, so the way this works is a power cable, and I just tie it into the reverse light so it only powers on when it's in reverse. And let's see. This gets tied into the feed cable coming from the truck right there. I'm not sure if this one has enough for another camera or not. Alright, making the final adjustments, tightening it down. Lock it into place here. It's just so I can't see this red light. And that's as close as I can get without making some kind of standoff. All right, it's time to button everything up, clean it up, put it all back together. So here's what my chase looks like. This kit only came with a, I know the longest one was 66 feet. I don't know what the short one was, but I was scared that one was going to be too short. So I have an 18 foot trailer here, so I knew I needed probably more than the short shorter version so I just put bundled it up in there and that'll all get hidden away Okay, it's getting fairly dark. Back it up to the trailer. Whoa. I still use my rear view mirror, side mirror. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to drive with this as the main focus. But when it comes to hooking up the trailer, Backup camera just adds this one extra step. I have a cable that runs from the trailer that comes off of the trailer if I need it to. Latches down with the thread. Without playing around with it at all, it automatically goes to my truck camera. And let's see if I can figure out how to do this quickly. When I go to auxiliary camera, it gives me the option for camera one or camera two. So I'm going to press camera two, and that is now on the back of the trailer. So I can see if. I have anything directly behind me. I'll still use my side mirrors. And it's going to do that every time until I figure it out. I still use my side mirrors, but it uh, looks great. I got my reverse lights back there. 
it's not completely dark outside right now but it's getting there and I'm excited about it because I can see right up to the back of the camera or back of the trailer it is a almost exactly I can't see the center part but I can see the outside portions you can see my ladder sticking out there on the left hand side 